Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Sword and Shield Base Set Booster Box. Now this booster box I did purchase from Collector's Cash for $94.99. Of course, Sword and Shield Base Set is the first set in the Sword and Shield series of sets. Official release date, February 7th, 2020. Now this is the second Sword and Shield base set booster box that I've opened up on my channel. The other one was a pre-recorded video, of course. This one I'll be opening up live, and I will be opening up all 36 packs in this video. So of course, Sword and Shield base set is the first set to feature 8th generation Pokemon, and the first set to include V cards, V Max cards, and the Rainbow Rare Trainers. So definitely hoping for some good pulls in this live opening. Now if you did see the post on my YouTube community page, my wife is supposed to join me. I have her seat right next to me here. She's not home yet, so I'm hoping she will show up quite soon so that she can help moderate as well as maybe even open up some packs. And I'm trying to convince her slowly or little by little to get into the more competitive TCG, even maybe do some videos of her own. Now, my wife has been a fan of Pokemon. I guess as long as I've known her, or she's known me, I have done YouTube, so it's a big part of my life. So for the most part now, welcome everyone to this live stream, the 36 booster pack opening of Sword and Shield. Now before I get these packs opened up, I can show the TCG player price guide and actually show you which cards I'd like most. Now, of course, as a competitive player, I'm looking for the most competitive cards, but at the same time, a collector, I'm also looking for the rarest. And usually those two things go hand in hand. The most valuable card in a set is usually the most competitive, but at the same time, some of the rarest cards are the most valuable as well. You'll see that with my most wanted card from Sword and Shield base set in the Sheehan V. Right now, that card is worth around $65. In the Rebel Clash live stream opening that I did, my wife actually pulled out the Frost Moth Secret Rare from the last pack. So hoping to get that type of luck in this opening. Of course, something like Quick Ball is a very competitive card and a very rare card as well. A couple of good full art cards in this set in Marnie as well as Professor's Research. I really do like Professor's Research. Snorlax VMAX in rainbow rare form, another card that is fairly valuable. So I'll get the box opened up now and then open all 36 packs. Again, thank you everyone for watching this live stream. I am trying to do a live stream about one time per week. So let's switch to the appropriate opening. There is the face cam and here is a look at the actual box. So get the plastic wrap off of the box and then the glare won't be so strong. It is hard to believe webcams are still sold out everywhere. I am using two from a friend of mine, Papa Blastoise. You may see him in the chat, so thank you to Justin for borrowing me some webcams. There is a look at the box without the plastic wrap on it. And the plastic wrap, if it has those uh, Pokeballs on the outside, that usually means that it is an authentic booster box. Again, I did purchase this box from Collector's Cash, $94.99. This set is based around both Zashian and Zamazenta. Now I do get some feedback the way I pronounce Zashian. And to me, I watched the official trailer for Sword and Shield and the Japanese translators did pronounce it Zashian. I've also heard of Zashian or a lot of other ways like that Zashian, for example. There's the back and then the side. You can see some of the featured VMAX. Now, of course, 36 booster packs in a booster box. There's one stack of 18 and the second stack of 18. I still have not, with all of my openings since I returned to YouTube, pulled out a Rainbow Rare Trainer. So there's a look at the 36 packs that'll be opening up. 
Maybe I'll just go every other pack from each side. So now let's get to the opening. Before I do that, let me check out the chat really quick. And like I said, it usually is very helpful when my wife is here moderating. And it looks like, boy, oh boy, just went through a pothole. Don't tell him. My wife is on the live chat, so you can interact with her. But again, thank you everyone for joining this live stream. Right now, 136 viewers. And that may increase as the night goes on. But opening up a sword and shield base set booster box. And if you ask me between sword and shield base set and then rebel clash, I think I do prefer base set, sword and shield base set that is more than rebel clash. That's reflected also in the price guide for both of these sets. Sword and Shield has much higher prices than a Rebel Clash, but there are some competitive cards in both sets. So thank you everyone for joining. I'll get to the opening now, and I do appreciate my wife is moderating the chat, even though she isn't physically here in the room with me. So the Pokemon I'd like to pull most on the first pack here is the Sheehan. So Sheehan V, that secret rare, it is a very good card overall for a metal type deck. And I believe Metal Saucer is a good card as well. That allows you to quickly accelerate metal energy to something like Zashian. So the very first pack in this Sword and Shield base set booster box on live stream starts with Mawile. Galarian Ponyta, that reminds me of my birthday live stream. I was wearing a birthday hat that whole video. Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Fighting Type Energy. Still like the looks of the basic energy cards from Sword and Shield. Hyper Potion, Team Yelgrunt. This is available in full art form. One of four different full art trainer cards. Hitmon Lee, Reverse Solo of a Citrus Berry. This would be an uncommon. First rare would be a Lapras V, and this would be a V full art. And in most booster boxes, you're looking at one full art card per booster box, so an excellent start here. Now there are 12 different full art cards in this set, and I was able to pull out Lapras. It's not bad right there. Set that one aside. Of course, I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this opening. Now with that being said, I will quickly jump on over to the price guide and show you how much that Lapras is worth. And my guess is it's not worth more than about $5 and indeed $4.69. So that's a comment I get a lot is that why don't I have over the top reactions to a poll like that and that would be why. So let's go over to the chat now and check it out. And I am going to try and open up these packs somewhat quickly. A pre-recorded booster box opening usually takes me about 40 minutes for two parts. And again, this video will be all in one. But an excellent start. If Carla was here, she could dab. I don't even want to attempt dab on camera. So there is the dab, my wife. Hopefully she's on her way. I have my chair sitting right next to me. Looking at the chat here. I am going to open up Darkness Ablaze, and I have a couple of notes here that I want to talk about in this live stream. So Darkness Ablaze is going to be released August 14th. I have pre-ordered two booster boxes as well as an Elite Trainer box. This set has been a little bit of a letdown now that the official set list has been released because unfortunately there's not going to be a Charizard V Full Art or a Charizard V Max Rainbow Rare, but some good news related to the Charizard V Full Art. The special expansion set that is going to be starting to be released in September does include a Charizard V Full Art as a Black Star promo in the Elite Trainer Box. That set will be called Champion's Path, and it does look pretty good for a special expansion. So let's get on over to opening up and thank you to the Taco King 2 for an attempted dab. I don't even want to attempt a dab, but thank you for the $1.99 donation to the Taco King 2. Greatly appreciate that and all the donations in this video go right back into my future videos. And you can always support me via the live chat in my premieres and live streams 
or becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. You can find links to my Patreon account in the description of this video. But the most important thing you can do for my channel is subscribing and ringing that bell, turning on all notifications. So I hear my wife coming in the door now. She always looks good if you ask me. She's worried about how she looks, but I think she always looks very good, especially compared to myself. So let's get to opening up some packs here. And as far as Darkness Ablaze goes, Fisher release date August 14th, like I said. Now you'll see some videos on YouTube opening up that set. Now some of those Poketubers, I'm not really a fan of how they do it because what they open, they don't keep it all. They're just opening up packs for someone else, which is pretty deceitful in my opinion, where they just open up hundreds of dollars of products or thousands of dollars of products and nothing related to those products they didn't put their money into and they're not going to keep either. But that's the way a lot of videos get created quickly where basically it's on consignment. Someone else is opening up a product that a shop receives. But I do hope to open up Darkness Ablaze as soon as possible. So let's get on over to the opening now. I'll go a little bit quicker. Lots to say on this Sunday evening. Now, unfortunately, I'm not really looking forward to heading into work tomorrow. The state of Minnesota where I live, mandatory masks we have to wear now. I do work at a school, so I'm a little bit worried for the fall. All the precautions we'll have to take there. Silicobra starts the second pack. Yamper. Grookey. Kufant. Baltoy, Fire Type Energy, Drizzile, Bisharp, Evolution Incense, Reverse Solo of a Mincino, just a common, final card would be an Orbital. Now, if you've been watching my videos the past week or so, I did upload the first online TCG booster pack opening, and that's step one to getting the battle videos back on my channel and a question for you guys in the chat is the standard format will be rotated so a new standard format will be in effect in august should i be making videos solely for the 2021 standard format or should i crank out a couple of videos for this format that changes very quickly so let me know what you think and i'm really itching to get back into the competitive scene would love the Dork Den to open back up for public events, but I don't think that will happen anytime soon. Galarian Zigzagoon starts this one. Muna, and thank you to Jack Gimmons. I see that off to the side. $5 donation. Goat Poketuber, is that what that is? Well, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Muna. Snom. Grookey. Shelder. Psychic Type Energy. Poke Kid. Heatmore, Galarian Stunfisk, Reverse Hollow of Adria's Isle, an uncommon. Final card would be a Sandaconda, and this is a rare hollow. A little bit harder to see that hollow foil pattern. Two cards I would love to pull in rare hollow form would be either the Marnie or the Professor's Research. I believe it's what? Professor Magnolia? So here we have a Zamazenta cover our work design pack. I definitely prefer the Zashian 2 Zamazenta. And I see another donation off to the side, Justin Carreras, $5 donation. Thank you very much. And in a booster box like this, this that's almost two booster packs. And a booster box always is the best way to buy steel products. Alrighty, so this pack starts with a Krabby, Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Metal Type Energy, Great Ball. This was a good way to get Pokemon into your hand. Quick Ball is even better, especially for a base type Pokemon, or basic rather. Galarian Lanoon, Rotom Bike, Reverse Solo of a Krabby, a common. Final card would be a Galarian Rapidash. Beautiful looking card there. I can see how that might draw in someone younger, potentially. A little girl, that type of thing. It almost looks like a unicorn. So, next pack here. 
I will try to interact with the chat a little bit. Now I am setting aside all of the code cards just because I'm trying to build up my online TCG account. You can add me there, Primetime Pokemon, PKMN is my name. I add most people that send me a friend request. So Grookey starts this pack, Kufant, Baltoy, Chincho, Sizzlipede, Water type energy. Quick ball, there we go. This could be the best card in the set. Now I'm a, I am a big fan of Tricky Jim and Andrew Mahone. He says this card is the best in the Sword and Shield base set. It allows you to discard one card from your hand and you can search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it into your hand. So it is better than Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, of course, at this point in time in the expanded format. Galvantula. Air Balloon, Reverse Hollow of a Galarian Meowth, just a common. Final card would be a Cinderace, and this is a rare hollow. You can really see the hollow foil pattern on this card. Of the, the three stage two starters from the Gala region, I definitely prefer Rillaboom. Now, as far as competitive cards go, as of right now, none of the stage two starters in V Max form or as rare hollow cards, very competitive. So Snorlax VMAX now. I have pulled out a Snorlax VMAX from a pack. Hello to everyone joining this live stream. I do get a lot of questions on the difference between a live stream and a premiere. So a live stream like this, I'm actually opening everything live. So in the chat, if you want me to say hi or if you have a question, I can respond to that directly in the video. In a premiere, that's just a pre-recorded video that I upload to YouTube at a set time, and then I'm just in the live chat interacting with my viewers. I like that mix, but at the same time, I like to interact with viewers of my videos, and that way I can just customize my videos to make them that much better for my viewers. And Justin Carreras does say, Ultra Ball has been gone for a while. Yes, it has been. But if you're looking for basically the best way to get a basic Pokemon out there, Quick Ball would be one of that ways. So Pinchurchin starts this one. Vulpix. Nicket. Baltoy. Chincho. Darkness type energy. Pokemon Center Lady. And I have seen in the Sword and Shield series of sets, a lot of the trainer cards, sort of the same pattern in a pack. Seeking, Hitmonchan, Reverse Hollow of a Rotom Bike, an uncommon. Final card would be a Dreadnought. Alrighty, on to the next pack, and I'm continuing to look at the live chat. And I know Tuttle's out there as well. Usually he causes quite the scene in some of my live stream openings. So Lapras VMAX pack now. As far as VMAX cards go in this set, four of them. Lapras, Morpeko, Stonejourner, and Snorlax. And hello to Sunju Park. Sorry, late primetime and primetime wife. No problem. Alrighty. Just appreciate everyone watching this live stream. I do enjoy making these types of videos. I do like the Sword and Shield base set a little bit more than Rebel Clash, like I mentioned. Would love to pull out a full art trainer. So Galarian Ponyta starts this pack. Cottony, Score Bunny, Silicobra, and either my wife's coming in or Tuttle's making a racket out there. I don't know if you can hear that toy. A bell ringing, Yamper, Grass type energy or a leafy energy, according to my wife, Pseudo Widow. Eldegoss, Eldegoss V is pretty good from Rebel Clash. Energy Search, Reverse Solo of a Frost Moth. There we go. This is an excellent card, a rare. And this is the card my wife pulled in secret rare form in my Rebel Clash live stream opening. And there she is making an appearance, my wife Carla and Tuttle. So, Frost Moth, a great way to accelerate water energy from your hand to your benched Pokemon. Great card right there. And then a more Peko V. So my wife came in and gave me some good luck. I'll switch to the face cam here so Tuttle can get some camera time there. Uh-oh. 
Tuttle's not looking very good here. Oh, there he is. He's probably hungry. It is about supper time for him. But maybe my wife will sit down and have the chair ready for her and everything. But a pretty good pack there. Frost Moth and a Morpeko V. I am using her chair to store the cards. Let's see. Let's get back to the opening. We'll take a look at the live chat. But very happy with the polls so far. That's just the sound of the door closing trying to keep Tuttle out. And Ham in the live chat says that they love my how to identify fake Pokemon cards video. Now, if you want to see some anger from me as far as Pokemon cards go, watch me rip up some fake Pokemon cards. I would never rip up a real card, however. Definitely not a fan of that at all, no matter if it's a common or not. So here we have a Zamazenta on the cover artwork design of this pack. Glad my wife came in here at least. She does help me with the moderation and letting me know what's happening in the chat. Alrighty. Rookity starts this pack. Krabby. Grookey. Mudbray. Hoot Hoot. Lightning type energy. No fairy type energy anymore. Team Yelgrunt. Drizzile, Galarian Stunfisk, Reverse Solo of a Galvantula, an Uncommon. Final card would be a Drampa. I know for my wife I've built her a Drampa GX deck before. And it might be time for her to join this video. That is good. I'm excited for her to join. Alrighty, I'll clear the chair. Just bear with me here in this live opening. Alrighty, I'll have to scoot over just a little bit so she can be seen on camera. So far, here are the cards I have opened up besides the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares. I am wearing my Dragonite shirt. Now, this is from the Pokemon Center Online. I guess we're just having a blanket or maybe a ghost participate with me. I don't know why she's so nervous of being on camera. I already told everyone that compared to me, you're beautiful no matter what. So... She's on. You can welcome my wife Carla into the live stream. And everyone wants you to open a pack already. You did have some good luck. Plenty of packs to choose from. And she can more than likely open a pack later in this video and save probably the best pull for last. So we'll go back to the opening here. And I'll continue to have the blanket off to the side. We do have a lot of blankets in the house. She likes to stay warm. She even buys them as birthday gifts for me or Christmas gifts and uses them herself. I have a nice Vikings one, however. Zashian now on this one. Wouldn't mind pulling out a Zashian V. Like I said, a very powerful metal type attacker. I believe it can do 230 damage pretty easily. My wife will be in charge of organizing the cards off to the side now. So, this pack, first pack with my wife sitting next to me, starts with a Nicket, Baltoy, Chincho. There's a Krabby. I better switch back to something here so I can see what's happening in the chat. My wife says, hi, everyone. I guess she is mute for this video. Krabby, Minchino, Fighting-type Energy, Reboot, Hop. Pokegear 3.0, a decent trainer card, a good way to get supporters. This is used to find something like Welder. Goldeen would be the reverse solo, a common. Final card would be a Stone Journer. What I'm going to do here, here you go, and you can stack them over there. Where on the floor? No, just right there. You can move the, you can move the box cutter out of there. We'll get rid of it. Oh, my. We're crabby today. You're Krabby? Are you poking the Pokemon Krabby or just Krabby? I'm more Peko. You're more Peko? Yep. An angry looking cute Pokemon? Yes. Okay, here's the Zamazenta on this pack. And thank you everyone for joining this live stream. Sword and Shield Booster Box opening. I'll just set the code cards there for now. Alrighty. Joltik starts this pack. Silicobra. Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper, Lightning Type Energy, Pseudo Widow, Eldegoss, Reverse Solo after this Energy Search, would be 
a Muna, just a common, looks like a hacky sack. And the final card would be a Cinderace. So nothing in that pack, anything too great. I'll just set these there for now. About halfway through what potentially would be part one of this opening. But of course, I'll open up all 36 packs in this live stream. I do have a Cosmic Eclipse booster box that I may do a live stream opening up. Just a cool concept, the live stream opening. Hard to believe if you go back to my first video on YouTube that such poor quality. Would have never thought at that time I'd be making so many videos or doing a live stream like this. Wooloo starts the pack. Sobble. Pinchurchin. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Fighting type energy. Switch, an excellent trainer card. Very good for resetting an attack like on Zashian V. Energy Retrieval. Heatmore. Reverse follow of a Rhyperior, or Zisarare, looks to be. And the final card would be a Stone Journer. This set does have 216 total cards, so it is a little bit smaller than some of the Sun and Moon series sets. Snorlax VMAX on this one, a beautiful looking card. Like I said, I had pulled that card before. On the box, I should be getting four or five V cards. There are 17 in this set. I have my cheat sheet next to me. Chincho starts this pack. Diglett. Pharaoh Seed. Goldeen. Roselia. Fire type energy. Raboot. Hop. Pokegear 3.0. Good trainer card again. Reverse solo of a Mawile, a common. Final card would be a Snorlax V. That was an early dab there. Oh boy, there's a donation from Polka Garage, $1.99, would you consider doing live booster breaks? And if you're talking about breaks as far as my viewers buy packs and then maybe watching the opening with my viewers buying the packs, I'd definitely consider it. But an excellent pull right here for the Snorlax V, the basic form for the Snorlax V Max. And Snorlax VMAX is a very powerful Pokemon if you use it with something like Triple Acceleration Energy. So what would that be? Two V poles so far. So not bad at all. I'm so mad at you. Really? Yep. We're going to argue on camera? Yep. Wham! Really? Yeah. That's what you're going to do on camera? Yes. Smack well, me around. Yes. Lapras VMAX on this pack. Is that funny? I just want to say that's not what he does for real. Yes, she was so scared of me. <laughs> I don't want people to think that you're abusive. Blipbug starts this one. Goldeen. Yamper. Scorpy. Clobopus. Psychic type energy. Lucky egg. Dub wool. Doug Trio. Reverse hollow of an air balloon. An uncommon. And the final card would be a Thievel. So not too many competitive cards that I've pulled so far. I guess Lapras VMAX is okay. Same with Snorlax VMAX. So close to what I need there. At least I have the first form. Zamazenta pack now. Alrighty. And of course, white colored code card. That means it's something good. She's dabbing, so does that mean a donation's coming? Five dollars from Dan's The Hunter. Will you be doing a booster box series next summer? It's always my favorite part of the center. So summer. So thank you for the donation. Greatly appreciated. And we'll see how this year goes. That's why I did decide to retire back in January. The main reason is just because the income coming in from YouTube has not been very good and the seal procs are just getting so expensive that it's just eating up all of my savings. So took a step down. We'll see how this coming year goes. I'm trying to make my videos better than ever and I would love to do a huge opening series this coming summer. Last summer was my wedding so that was sort of off back then. So it is one That's year too bad, huh? Yes. A wedding is Pokemon more important, really right? suffered. Yes. Now I'm getting confused. Let's see. What's I wanted the matter? to make sure I did 
did the card trick. I didn't want to... You're getting confused because I'm chewing you out on camera? Yes. So make sure you don't get married, everyone. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. Maractus starts to this one. Mudbray. That looks... Pawniard. Funny. Score Bunny. What's your favorite starter from the 8th generation? I have no idea what that Nick means. <laughs> Metal type energy. Energy switch. Dotler. Galarian Stunfisk. Reverse all of a ghastly, a common. Final card would be a Bolton, and this is a rare hollow. So another rare hollow pull. This one really stands out. Now Bolton V from Rebel Clash, I believe. I better make sure it's not over there. Rebel Clash, that is a pretty solid V card for a Pikachu and Zekrom GX deck, for example. And there's first last. Thank you for the $2.99 donation. What's up, Primetime Pokemon? You still doing fcbms so free cards by mail and i would of course do those but i don't really get much for fan mail anymore so i'd have to get fan mail first before i would make those openings and that's the issue i had before is that i felt so bad that someone may send me their collection or package of cards and then the cards are just either fake or in bad shape or just really weren't any good and then i'd upload that video to youtube and then the person who sent me those cards would just get bullied in the comment and bashed. So sometimes I just shy away from that. But if you would like me to, would like me to open up fan mail from you, definitely email me for my address. Ptpbiz at yahoo.com would be my email. So I'll open up three more packs here. That was supposed to be the good code card. What? That was a good Oh, yeah, that was a good code card, yes. So a white colored code card like I showed means a rare hollow or better. So just explain it to those like my wife. So a white colored code card means a rare hollow or better. The green colored one, always a rare non-hollow. So thank you to Robert Howard, $9.99 donation. Always watching the content, keep on making videos. Definitely will keep the videos coming. I hope you guys don't mind my wife in the videos. I know she likes sitting in and spending some time with me. It's awful. I don't think it's awful. You wouldn't keep coming back. Alrighty, so Zashian V on this one. I guess not V, but hoping to get a Zashian V. Here's a look at a green colored code card, if you can see that. So, rare non hollow in that rare spot. Still could pull a rare reverse hollow, like a Marnie, for example. Pharaoh Seed starts this one. Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik. Silicobra, Water Type Energy, Big Charm, Seeking, Thwacky, Reverse Hall of a Rookadi, just a common. Final card would be a Raichu. Who do you love more, Pokemon or Carla? I think I married you. I'm not married to Pokemon, <laughs> right? Alrighty, Snorlax VMAX pack now. Would love to pull that out. You're usually looking at one VMAX per box. Potentially a rainbow rare or a secret rare per box. Usually those are about one and two booster boxes. But once I open up these two packs, I can sort of summarize what I pulled so far. Take a look at the chat and chat with the viewers. If you have any questions for me, let me know. And then get on to part two. Another dab there. Trent Strong, are you hyped for Champion's Path? I mentioned that earlier. Champion's Path is a special expansion that is going to be released like other special expansions where it's not in booster box or individual booster pack form. So starting in September, there's going to be products released. And I am excited for that set, especially for the Elite Trainer box with the Charizard V Full Art. Now with that being said, I don't think either of the Charizard cards are very competitive at this point. Who knows with the trainer support coming out. So Grookey starts this pack. Shelder. Mawile. Galarian Ponyta. Sobble. Darkness type energy. Palpat, a good way to get supporter cards back into your deck. Citrus Berry. Quillfish. Reverse Solo of a Sandaconda. This would be a rare, not bad. And the final card, a Noctowl. Put a lot of time into the second generation of video games. Noctowl, of course, came out at nighttime. 
Nice. Second to last pack in part one here, or in the first 18 packs of this Sword and Shield live stream opening. Nothing much so far outside of the full art, Lapras V. Pretty card. What about it? Give me the packs. Oh, give me the packs. Hold on. I'll so let... then I can give you the lucky one. So here's 18 right here. 18 packs. You got to show that? Yes. Now, did I do the card trick? I must have. I don't know anymore. Sorry, you're confusing. I yes, you. you're distracting me. It is a green color code card, so I'll ruin that for you guys. Pawnee Arts starts this one. Score Bunny. Nicket. Chincho. Diglett. Grass type energy. <clears throat> Salazzle. Excuse me. Metal Saucer. There we go. There's the card I was hoping for to use with Zashi and V. Attach a metal energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So you potentially could discard a metal energy with Quick Ball and then get it back onto a Zashi and V with Metal Saucer. Rotom Bike. Reverse Solo of a Crab. Yay, common. Final card would be a Clay Doll. So last pack in the first 18, and my wife can start handing me packs shortly after this one, because I'll sort of summarize the polls. That's the first half of the box. So Zamazenta here would like to get something good, and it looks like Baron Land COF, your streams are relaxing to watch. Well, thank you very much. Let's see what happens in the last pack in part one. I'm just going back and forward with my wife. You can't take either of us too seriously. Shincho starts this one. Sizzlepeed. Galarian Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. That's actually a decent card. When you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench during your turn, you may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you could use this. They're watching us. That's oh, no. a bunch of. So my wife just saw on her phone there. <laughs> All of her cousins are watching this live stream on their TV, so shout out to the Locos Club. Galarian Zigzagoon could be used with something like a Dragapult VMAX if you want to spread damage around. Muna, Snom, Lightning Type Energy, Vitality Band, a good way to increase the attacks of a Pokemon, increases attacks by 10. Haunter, Thwacky. Reverse follow of a bead. I believe bead is available as a full art. Yes, it is. One of four. This is an uncommon supporter. And Marnie. There we go. A good way to end part one, essentially, with a Marnie a rare hollow for Sentai Fan 45, who I know is watching. It is very similar to N. In a way, it says each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, you draw five cards and your opponent draws four cards. So especially if you go second, your opponent can't use a supporter turn one, you can use this and really mess with your opponent. A good way there. Sentai Fan 45, $10 donation. So he is indeed watching. What up, boo boos? <laughs> At least that makes my wife laugh. <laughs> He's part of the Locos Club. So I'm going to summarize the polls here, go through the live chat a little bit, and move on to part two. So bear with me here. I'll change the camera here so I can just go to the face cam only. Am I so ugly? You're not ugly. Ew. You. You, you, you. So there's a look here. So bear with me while I organize these cards quickly. That way I know what I've pulled so far. Not that great for ultra rares in part one, essentially. Probably the best pull. I like that Frost Moth Reverse Hollow. So I did pull out four rare Hollow, two V cards, and then one V Full Art, and then three rare Reverse Hollows. So I can show those really quickly. So three and then four for rare Reverse Hollows and rare Hollows. So Frost Moth is one of my favorite cards here, and I should probably change it to the correct view. Otherwise, I'm the only one looking at this <laughs> summary here. That's pretty funny, isn't it? What? Frost Moth, <laughs> Reverse Hollow, Rhyperior, Sandaconda. Those would be the three rare Reverse Hollows. <laughs> and then Cinderace, Sandaconda, Boltund, and then Marnie. 
would be the rare hollows really like that marnie pole that reminds me the trainer's toolkit if you're looking at a product out there for the competitive tcg trainer's toolkit for 29.99 is one that i highly recommend so here's a look at the ultra rares that i pulled out not much yeah. more peco v snorlax v and then a lapras v full art do like the looks of the full art cards someone did ask me what i prefer the rainbow rares style wise sword and shield or sun and moon i think i do prefer the sword and shield so i'll take a look at the live chat here and then get to the second 18 packs my wife has those packs and i guess she's going to be handing those to me so let's see here i was blowing on the mic primetime pokemon's wife which she's sitting right next to me she's really messed around in this video <laughs> so i don't know exactly who he she's talking about there what is your harry potter house hufflepuff looks like cat <laughs> wentz is hufflepuff uh gryffindor of course for me probably slytherin for my wife who knows yep for sure for I'm sure against you yes it's your gryffindor yes oh boy yes, lax I'm... god i'm voldemort <laughs> that's not good right there Hey, Primetime, what's your favorite Pokemon from the Galar region? As far as the cards go so far, I really like Zacian V. Um, like I mentioned, Rillaboom would be my favorite stage 2 starter from the Galar region. And then it just, the more cards that I open up <laughs> from the Sword and Shield series sets, I might be able to give you a better answer. Whatever you're doing in the live chat, thanks for those that are watching. It's giving my wife some laughs. I know Sentai Fan 45 a good friend of mine, and Carla's Cousins watching. So what is Eric saying? Oh, boy. <laughs> I won't even say what that says in the live chat. It's making my wife laugh hard, though. So let's get back to opening some packs. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you're just joining this live stream, opening up a Sword and Shield base set booster box. I purchased it from Collector's Cash for $94.99. I have opened up 18 packs so far, 18 more packs left to go this is a live stream my wife is moderating and sitting right next to me so if you have any questions for me or feedback let me know in the chat so my wife handed me this lapras v max pack what pack cards your favorite of these four carla do you have one from the four mm, not guy. any cute ones really the bulbasaur guy bulbasaur guy you mean snorlax no this thing Yes, it's Snorlax V Max. This is Snorlax oh, back here, and this is just land tummy. right here. Yeah. Oh, what did I say it was? Bulbasaur <laughs> guy. She does like the basic starters, that's for sure. So here we have Mincino, first pack in part two, essentially, the second 18 packs. Mincino, Vulpix, Muna, Roselia, Choodle, Fire Type Energy, Great Ball. Galarian Lanoon, Rotom Bike, Reverse Solo of a Rhydon, this would be an uncommon. Final card would be a Lantern. Card I'd really like to pull <laughs> most from part two here, the second 18 packs, would be the Professor's Research. It oh, allows you to this kid. discard your hand. Looks like, who is that? Abraham Sanchez, 99 cent donation. That's a big $1 donation from... Is he part of the Locos Club? I, Not anymore. I He's too know. good for the Locos Club. I don't know. 99 cent donation Cousins from Abraham. Club. Yes, Cousins Club. My wife's cousin in the chat. I think he just wants to see Carla dab. They're watching on the big yeah, screen. Yeah, because I dab awful. Yeah, you dab awful. I don't even want to attempt to dab. Do it. No. Lapras V Max. Do it. If I get a good, really good pull, if I get one of the top four most valuable cards in this set, I'll do it. You'll probably save the best pack for last. Do you plan on opening up a pack in this video? No. Not with all of your cousins watching? Who knows? Grookey starts this one. Mudbray. Hoot Hoot. Pin Searchin. Vulpix. Psychic Type Energy. Energy Switch. Dotler. Galarian Stunfisk. Reverse Hollow of a Lumberry, an uncommon. Final card. Aww. Would be a Marpeco. That's this, me now. That one, not the Marpeco V? Not anymore. Okay, now she's a little bit happier. <laughs> a lot weaker, though. Not as powerful if you're not a V. 
Do you watch Avengers? If you do, who is your favorite Avengers? Never seen it. And that's something I mentioned before. I've never really got into any superhero movies or anything like that. Not even Star Wars. If you get a so- so- what's it, Sonia? Sonia? Sonia, yeah. Well, art. Somebody gets to be a moderator. Yeah, that will never happen in this video. You know why? Because it's not in this set. It's in Rebel Clash. Ooh. So this one starts, with, uh, this pack has Zamazenta on it, rather. That's something that happens with my wife here. I get a little distracted. She likes to have a fun time. No, that's all right. Just trying to have some fun on live stream for my viewers. 225 viewers right now. So thank you for watching. Goldine <laughs> starts this one. You made somebody cry. Roselia, that I don't watch Avengers. No. Oh, that's not good. No. Ghastly. Something different. Pawniard. Sizzlepede. That's you. <laughs> Metal type energy, I would say Sizzlepede is you with the luck. Lumberry. <laughs> Aurora energy, here is a very competitive card, similar to Rainbow energy, except for instead of putting a damage counter on the Pokemon this card is attached to, you must discard a card from your hand. This can be used as any type of Pokemon. Fun of me. Oh no. Another you. dab, double. And thank you, SentaiFan45, for a two dollar donation. Dab Carla. Bolt hunt. This is a rare, pretty good pull right here. Haven't pulled many rare reverse hollows out. Oh wow. And then a Gengar. Oh my goodness. Rare hollow. And Cousins are starting to pile into this video for my <laughs> wife, Wendy Sanchez, Karen Flores. 99 cents, 99 cents. So thank you for the support. I know you're what is that? big what fans. Wendy showed. A peach? It's a peach? Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like a butt. Oh. <laughs> At least you're making Carla laugh, and she is famous. She's on the big screen in the Flores house, I'm sure. <laughs> I got to read this one. Oh, man, I feel bad for anyone actually named Karen in 2020. That is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Karen would not be a good name to have, that's for sure. Zashian on this one. Hopefully I'll get something good here. Haven't pulled anything too great in this second half. This pack starts with a Cottony, Choodle, a Rhyhorn. Rookity, Krabby, Water Type Energy, Palpat, another good trainer card, Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Drampa, which would be a rare, is the Reverse Hollow, not bad. Final card, there we go, right there. Might have to check the price list here, but a Snorlax V Max, and this would be a V Max Rainbow Rare. Let me switch over to TCG Player and take a look and see how much that card is worth. Did you hand me that pack? That is an excellent pull right there. So let me head on over to the appropriate camera angle here. If I can handle it, I'm too excited. All right. So, Ooh. Snorlax, VMAX Rainbow Rare. So, just missed out on the top four, but it is a $20 card or so, so not bad. Snorlax VMAX. I'll take a look at that card again when I switch over the camera angle. And that is a pretty good pull right there. Did I miss a donation of $9.99? Keep up the great work, you too. Did you see the other one? Dylan Gilbert. Did I miss another donation in the live chat? Abraham Sanchez. Must be his birthday. Piece of birthday cake, <laughs> 99 cents. No. No. It's not his birthday. Well, thank you, Mark. My wife is very beautiful. That is for sure. So let's take a look at the Snorlax VMAX a little bit closer. This definitely made the booster box, plus that Marnie Rare Hollow. But 344 the HP. That is a tough hp to knock out in one attack and this card only has one attack called g max fall which does 60 damage plus 30 more damage for each of your bench pokemon all this for three colorless energy so i did watch a battle by tricky jim andrew mahone where he was using this in expanded he was using Sky Field and triple acceleration energy so Sky Field, the stadium card allows you to have i believe what is that? Eight bench Pokemon. So that means that this card would do 
8 times 30 would be 240, plus 60 would be 300. So 300 damage for a one triple acceleration energy. So this card could be a little bit better and expanded, but a beautiful looking card overall. This was my wife's favorite pack design. So that is an excellent pull right there. Right there. Not looking too great for pulling out a rainbow rare trainer. <laughs> Here's a look at that same pack. You must have just brushed your hair because you've got hair everywhere. Yeah, that's what happens when you use my comb for Tuttle. I didn't use it on Tuttle. Never. Not recently. Alrighty, Snorlax VMAX. What I just pulled out. Look at that. Another white colored code card. I know I don't like to give these away too often. What's in that final spot? But that was an excellent pull there. Snorlax VMAX Rainbow Rare. How about... A professor's research full art. I wouldn't count on it, but I have seen boxes like that before. Score Bunny starts this pack. Pikachu. Yeah. Sinistia. Wooloo. Were you dying there? Shelter. Fighting type energy. Bead. Does look like a darker edge back there, so potentially something good. Hitmonlee. Rare candy. This is a great way to quickly evolve a basic into a stage two. Reverse solo of a Thwacky. This would be an uncommon. Rare in the pack. Would be a Victini V. So first V pull in part two or the second 18 packs. Not bad right there. Like I said, 17 different V cards in this set. Zashin would be the best one. There's really not that many competitive V cards. But as I've learned since playing the competitive TCG for the last several years is trainer cards are really what make the game and which make the deck. You're going to have a majority of trainer cards in a competitive deck and really just 10 to 12 Pokemon in the deck total. So Snorlax VMAX pack now. Thank you everyone for tuning in to this live stream. My wife is sitting here next to me. Do you have a pack set aside you're going to open yourself? Or you don't know yet? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Four and two for the card trick to move that reverse hollow and rare to the back. Roselia starts this one. Choodle. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Clobopus. Darkness type energy. Switch. There we go. I'll take a few more switch cards. Pharaoh Thorn. Reboot. Reverse hollow of a Goldeen. Just a common final card would be a Lapras. Cool looking artwork on this card. Looks like some type of sunset almost in the background. My wife is very good at taking sunset pictures. Five lakes in the city we live in, so lots of good lake sunset pictures. Why would you say that? Not everybody knows where we live. I don't think so. There, you know Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes? Yes. Lapras VMAX pack now. Is that good luck? Yeah, well, it's green. Yeah. She does know now. Green colored code card. Not that great. Would love to pull a Marnie or a Professor's Research in reverse hollow form, however. Ghastly. Pawniard. Sizzlipede. Yamper. Is this you? Yamper. <laughs> Clabopus. <laughs> leafy energy. Yep, leafy energy. Vitality Band. There we go. Good way to increase a Pokemon's attacks. Haunter, Thwacky, Reverse Solo of a Silicobra, a common. Final card would be an Orbeetle. <gasps> I don't know what's happening in the chat there. Is a Sheehan on this one? Four and then two. Something okay. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Blipbug starts this pack. Rhyhorn. Clobopus. Goldeen. Roselia. <laughs> Lightning type energy. Drizzile. What's the dab about? Oh boy, EJ Webbs. Have Tuttle open a pack. $1.99 donation. Thank you very much. I told them that. Evolution incense. Or Rare candy. There we go. A nice reverse holo. And the final card would be a Grap Locked. If he donated a dollar, he would do a pack battle with you. Who? Tuttle would? Have Tuttle open a pack. If you want him to knock down everything in here, go ahead. 
So my wife's going to get you Tuttle, to I guess. Alrighty. Zamazenta on this one. I'll have to take a look at the chat. I don't know, something that was in there my wife reacted strongly to. Hopefully it's not any type of bullying or anything like that. Definitely trying to be positive in here. It says, just someone being nasty trying to get attention. That's what, ban them and move on. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about. So Gossa Fleur, Goldine, Diglett, Scorapy, Hoot Hoot, Psychic Type Energy, Galarian Lanoon, Seeking, Ordinary Rod. There we go. Finally pulled this card out. Nothing but nothing ordinary about this one. Shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck and or shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck with something like Professor's Research where you're discarding your entire hand. Ordinary Rod allows you to get that back into your deck quickly. Mudbray, the reverse hallway common. Final card would be a Roserade. So I don't know what's happening in the chat, but a lot of people are not happy with whoever it is. So they're just trying to get attention, ban them and move on. So hopefully that is what's going to happen. So she and now, and I don't know if you can see Tuttle. I have a good chance. Let's see. There's, there we go. Okay, Tuttle, pick a pack. Hold that up for him. There is the pack Tuttle's going to open up, I guess. So this is Tuttle's <laughs> pack. So this one here, I'll set this out here. So this one's going out here. And that is Tuttle's pack in a second here. So that will be Tuttle's pack in the pack opening. This one with Zashian V on it would be my pack. We'll see who wins this one. I don't know what Pokemon Tuttle really likes. Uh-oh, it's not a good sign for Tuttle. White colored code card. <laughs> So hopefully it's just a rare hollow for him. Otherwise, this pack battle goes to me. Sinistia starts the pack. Wooloo. Shelder. Krogunk. Silicobra. Metal type energy. Pokemon Center Lady. Sea King. Hitmonchan. Reverse solo of a Mancino. A common. You ready, Tuttle? You have to beat. A Cramorant V. So good luck to you. Beat Catch I have seen used in play before. Search your deck for a bit two cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So potentially you could use this to get cards and reuse them again. Potentially you could use Ordinary Rod as well as Beat Catch on Cramorant V. So good luck to you, Tuttle. I pull out a V card. Let's see what you're going to get in your pack. He did pick up the pack on his own. He also is a fan of Snorlax VMAX, like my wife. So good luck to you, Tuttle. Is that a dab by Tuttle? Yep, he's the second dab. Second dab by Tuttle. Surprised that he's not getting out of here. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look at that code card. Oh, Tuttle. Oh, no. Come is that... on, you're bad luck, Tuttle. Nope. Too bad for Tuttle. Maybe if he gets a reverse solo, it'll give him the the uh, win in the pack battle. He's actually cooperating pretty well. Ghastly. Rookadee. <laughs> he looks tired as can be. Sizzlepede. Snom. That's him. <laughs> this one right here? Yes. Mawile. Water type energy. Dotler. Potion. Hitmonchan. Reverse solo of a quick ball. Boy, oh boy, Tuttle. This is a competitive card. I could do a dab with that right there. That's not bad right there. A great way to get a basic Pokemon and get it in your hand very quickly. So an excellent pull. And then a Lapras. So both packs were pretty good. As a collector, the V card is probably better. But as a competitive player, the quick ball would be better. Put it in his hands. Let's see what Tuttle can do here. Okay. Here's the card. Thank you, Tuttle. Greatly appreciate it. So Lapras VMAX on this one. So happy with the Snorlax VMAX. That reverse hollow is nice of that quick ball. Four and then two. Maybe I'll spend some time in the chat here. I do have, what, four packs left to go, and my wife potentially can open up one. 
Tuttle wins in a competitive sense. That's what the Xander Zone says in the chat. I would agree with that. Just depends on what you're going for. That quick ball is pretty good. He is actually cooperating. You can tell he's a little bit tired. <laughs> I can't get him to open his claws. Diglett starts this one. Scorpy. Hoot Hoot. Score Bunny. Pikachu. Darkness type energy. Team Yalgrunt. Drizzile. Galarian Stunfisk, Reverse Solo of a Sizzlepeed, a Common. Final card would be a Corviknight. Now, if Corviknight was outside, Tuttle might go after him. He does like to chase birds and insects. He is pretty good at getting rid of what is it, the Killer Cicada Wasp. Cicada Killer Wasp, that's what it would be. So here's a Zamazenta pack. Three packs left to go. I'll check out the chat here in a minute. So if you have any questions for me, let me know. And I'll answer those after I open up this pack. It does seem like I should be getting another Ultra Rare soon. Maybe a VMAX. Battle Toy starts this one. Wooloo. Joltik. Salandit. Clobopus. Grass-type energy. Reboot. Pseudo Widow, Hop, Reverse Hollow of a Pseudo Widow, an Uncommon, and the final card. There we go, a Professor's Research. And this allows you to discard your hand and draw seven cards. So I have pulled out both of the trainer cards that I was hoping to pull. Pulled out both in Rare Hollow form, so I'll take that any day. He's leaving on his own. That's good. Bye, Tuttle. Thanks for the pack battle. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> He's probably going to his food there and seeing what's left. I haven't gave him any wet food yet. So I'll take a look at the chat here and see what's going on in it. So if there's any questions for me. Not much so far. I greatly appreciate everyone for watching this Sword and Shield live stream. Let me know what you think between the two sets out right now. Do you like Sword and Shield base set or do you like Rebel Clash better? I personally like Sword and Shield a little bit better. Still on the hunt for that gold colored Zashian V. It is a very valuable card. Let's see. Definitely being trolled by a group. That's what is being said in there. So is Papa Blastoise here today at all? I don't know. We That's what someone here. So my friend Justin might not be oh, on. Wait, there he is. Yeah, here, here. He made it. So thanks for coming, Justin. Greatly appreciate it. He's probably had a long day of work, potentially. So thanks for joining the live stream. You have not missed Carl open up a pack. Have been lucky enough to pull out the Snorlax VMAX, the Rainbow Rare. That's probably my best pull of the opening. Also pulled out Rare Hollows of the Professor's Research and Marnie. So in the competitive sense, I have been doing pretty decently. And I just mentioned I do prefer Sword and Shield base set over Rebel Clash. Let me know what you think, Justin. He is a competitive player and we usually go to events together with his family, my wife, and then Sentai Fan 45. So thanks again for joining, Papa. And I'll get back to the opening. Only a few packs left to go. And I do hope to open up a Cosmic Eclipse booster box in live stream. Of course, Darkness of Blades. As soon as I can get a booster box of it, I have pre-ordered two Darkness of Blades booster boxes as well as an Elite Trainer box. So Zashian on this one. Would love to pull out the Zashian V, the gold card, the secret rare. My wife pulled out the Frost Moth secret rare in the one booster pack she opened up in my Rebel Clash live stream opening. Getting down there on packs for this booster box. Looks like Tuttle came back into the room. Hopefully he's not going to get in a lot of trouble or my wife will be out of here. Sizzlepeed starts with this pack. Snom. Mawile. Gossifleur. Goldeen. Lightning type energy. Quillfish. Poke Kid. Energy Search. Reverse Hollow of a Diglett. Just a common. Final card would be a Poltegeist. Do you want to pick one of the, what is it, two packs left to go for me to open up? Now you're going to open up two packs over here? Yes. Oh, boy. How do you boy. make people moderators on here? How do you make people moderators? Who do you want to make a moderator? The two people that we hang out with a lot. 
Oh, okay. All right, so bear with me, guys. I'll switch to the face cam and then go in and make some more moderators in the live chat. So there's Sentai Fan. Rest in peace. I'll make him a moderator. Why'd you say RIP? And then let's see here. Papa Blastoise, where is he? Keep going up, keep going up. There he is. Katie's dance concert and Chinese. Oh boy. Went to China Buffet without us. That's not good. My wife and I did go to China Buffet with her family about a week ago. First time we've been to any type of buffet in a long time. And at the buffet we go to, you have to wear either gloves when you dish up your food or have hand sanitizer. And then, of course, they have the the glass divisions over the food. So it's actually, I'd say, a lot more hygienic than it used to be. So I have two packs left to open. My wife will open up two packs as well. Are I looked at Papa Blastoise. Oh, I have a band hammer. That is pretty good. <laughs> so two more moderators on the chat. I do appreciate everyone that is watching this live stream and turn. keeping it civil. You want to open up two packs right now? Yes. All right. So let me get this going. I'll stand off to the side. Now remember, open with confidence and just go for it. Oh, my hair fell off. All right. So wish my wife some <laughs> luck. I guess wish some luck my wife. Not that, but so she'll open up a couple of packs here. All right, go for it, Carla. It's ready to go. Yes, I'm getting ready here. Oh, she has to get ready. Now, you're opening those two packs you set aside from a long time ago. Yeah, so All right. that might be good. Okay, speak up. He's an old man. He's hard of hearing. Okay, ready? Yes. I saw how you do it. You go like this. Is you the camera going to see that? Do you want me to go on the side so we can do the opposites now? Okay, so, oh, snap, I just showed everybody what it was. Good start, <laughs> snap, snap, snap. One, two, three, four, one, two, and it goes to the back, right? Yep. Oh, shoot, I screwed it up. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Okay, ready? Yep, now watch on the camera yes, down here. I'm you looking. wanna move over to the right a little bit, to the right, that would be to the left, Why further do you to want the right. It? Why do you want it that way? Because, I'll show you. See that? Look at that. It's not centered. Yes, but you block it with the... That's Jeez. okay. Do okay. whatever you like. This is a Joltik Salandit. Salandit, yep. Salandit. Clabopus. Yep. Ghastly. Turn the cards down a little bit. There you go. She's going to be a professional opener before you know it. Don't worry about that. Rookie D. Is that how you say yep. it? Fire energy card. And this is a Lumberry trader card. How do you say that? Aurora Energy. That is a very competitive card. Why Aurora would it be energy. competitive? What does it do? Um, you can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card from your hand. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy but provides only one energy at a time. So you could use that with Arceus Dialga and Palkia GX and use its GX attack to increase attacks by, I believe, 30 for the rest of the game. So that is a very good special energy card. Double, right? Yep, double, yep. Reboot. What rarity is that? Do you know? I don't know. What does a diamond mean? Is it a common, an uncommon, or a rare? Rare. Rare would be a star. Uncommon. There you go. Uncommon. And the... Uh, rare. Raichu is a rare. There you go. One uh, pack down, one more to go. I've hair in my mouth, oh, sorry. Oh, boy. If you missed out, big action earlier. Tuttle, my cat, and me had a pack battle. Now, if you're a competitive player, he probably won the pack battle. He pulled out a quick ball. Reverse hollow, and then I pulled out, what was that, a V card in my pack, a Cramorant. That ha card does have a good attack on it. You can't. You can't. She's really struggling to open up this second pack now, and then I have two packs left to open up in this live stream booster box. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Just to let you know, Carla, 240 people are watching you right now. Wow. Live, so I thank everyone for watching live. It's like our wedding all over again. It was on YouTube streaming? Yes. Oh, boy. YouTube came. It's okay. You're going to have to do the card trick there. She has a shot at something good here. I would like to have her pull out a VMAX. Really hope YouTube is watching right now. Yeah. Hopefully YouTube's there. All right. 
You want to? No. Oh, you already I gave it something. away. Oh, you already gave it away. You got to keep them nice and tight back there. Now watch on the camera down there where you're at. There you go. Salad it. Yep. Ponita. Here, we'll go like that so you can see better. There. See there. That? Ponita. Min. Sinu. Mincino. Mincino. If you'll notice, my wife goes to Spanish if she doesn't know the pronunciation. Subble. <laughs> Blip bug. A brown energy card. Brown energy card? I don't remember it. I'm nervous. What's this mean? You want to fight somebody? Punch energy card. Fighting energy? <laughs> Punch energy. Pokemon catcher. A haunter. This is a... What? Vitality band. Vitality band, but I'm. Isn't it like a rare or something? No. Oh. Oh, you're just giving that away. It's a. <laughs> hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Which is what rarity? It's, oh boy, it looks like something good back there it's too. It's a rarity of a. How Cir do you tell? Circle. See that black circle? That means it's a common. It's a common. Okay, and here's your good poll. V max, the, I bet. The V max is. Nope, a... Cramorant V. Cramorant so V. Card. Yeah, so a V full art. Now, see here? Well, full art. There's the card I pulled earlier. That's the regular art, and you pulled the full art. So that nice. is a pretty good poll right there. In this set, there are 12 total V full art cards. So I'll set that one aside. There's my There's wife's two, cards two left. pack openings. Two Not packs. bad. I would guess she'll beat me, so I'll switch back to here, take a look oh, at sorry, the my hair's chat nice. with the... Open a pack in Spanish. I can't do that. Open a pack in Spanish. So I we'll don't switch have... chairs now, play some musical chairs. <sighs> I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this opening. Not a bad box overall, so I'll set that one aside. <laughs> He's like, man, wish I could send fifty dollars because brown energy card. <laughs> <laughs> Do you send the bathroom with the brown energy or what? <laughs> uh, I don't know what happens. My wife just must get nervous on camera because she's played the Pokemon TCG <laughs> more than one or two times. She knows that it's a fighting energy. Yes, you don't know the feeling where you just forget everything and you're like, what is that even called? Yeah. Try doing a TCG pack battle with my wife. I would love to in the future. I guess we can take those two packs that she opened up, and I have two oh. packs left to go. Why was I supposed to dab? Why were you? Because oh, you pulled this card? Oh, man. Late dab. You did it, huh? No, that's not a dab. I was just waving to somebody. Hi. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get to this opening. And then I can sort of summarize my holes here so two packs left to go my phone's at eight percent uh-oh my wife's phone's gonna die good thing my computer's right next to me four percent so snorlax v max on this one <laughs> all righty second to last luck. pack beginner luck yep Yeah, she would beat me in a pack battle, Justin. You're right. So Yamper starts this one, and Tuttle's coming back in, so he might just ruin this video and knock everything on the ground. So Yamper, Clobopus, Cottony, Choodle, Rhyhorn, Fire-type Energy, we gotta do Quillfish, this. Polka Kid, Energy Search, Reverse Solo of a Nicket, oh, a Common, that. Nice Final card again. would be a Drapion. Haven't pulled a Drapion out yet. So final pack in this Sword and Shield booster box, the live stream. I have done a pre-recorded opening for Sword and Shield in the pack. Sorry. Nope, that's copyright. Can't be doing that. Oh, sorry. Sheesh. I don't know it's like you've never copyright. made a YouTube video nope, before. I have not. So this one, oh, the Zamazenta key. on the final pack here now you're so used to tiktok that's what they do on there right that's what it is. you can make a tiktok doing that that is fine so zamazent on the final pack here you haven't hit any packs have you what no okay so this is all let's see what happens oh boy could end with some last pack magic maybe i can beat my wife in the pack battle she pulled a full art i would have to get a v max i would say to beat it or these is she and V, the secret rare. Make sure to hide that final card, unlike my wife. 
So Krogunk starts the final pack. Silicobra, Minchino, Vulpix, Muna, Grass Type Energy, Lucky Egg, Mantine. Where'd he go? I think he left. Okay. Crushing Hammer. Not a bad way to disrupt your opponent. Lucky Egg again. This is an uncommon reverse hollow. Final card. Does look like my wife beat me in the pack battle, unless it's maybe another professor's research or Marnie. It would be a Frost Moss. So a very competitive card here and a good way to end this Sword and Shield base set booster box. Frost Moth allows you to accelerate as many energy cards from your hand. So water type energy to your benched water type Pokemon. So bear with me here and I can summarize the polls on the entire box. And you can chat it up with my wife in the live stream chat. I can try and answer questions as well. But a solid box overall still on the hunt to pull out a Rainbow Rare Trainer. But I will take the VMAX Rainbow Rare any day, any opening. Very happy with that. So again, bear with me here while I'll summarize all of my pulls from this booster box. And I can't wait to open up Darkness Ablaze in the future. So let's see here. I would say this wasn't an above average box, but definitely solid. I actually did pull out a couple of trainer cards that I wanted. So I'll set aside everything here. I'll just do the summary on the entire box. Not bad at all. Still love that Snorlax VMAX, that is for sure. Pulling two V Full Arts in the same box is pretty good, that's for sure. So it does look like in part two, if you take it that way, I did pull out, what is that, two V cards. So on the entire box, four. Well, I did pull out one V Full Art in part two, and then one V Max Rainbow Rare, and then two rare hollows so two three four five six so not a bad box here i can summarize everything now and show everything that i did pull out and pretty happy but like i said as far as the v cards go in this set not anything that competitive outside of Zashian. A little bit disappointed I didn't pull out a Zashian. Have pulled one in the past. Still on the hunt for the gold colored Zashian V, the secret rare. So I'll show the reverse hollow rares and rare hollows first. Let me get these cards organized a little bit. Again, I thank everyone for watching this particular live stream opening and for my wife for moderating and being in this live stream as well I'm hoping to get her more competitive into the tcg and potentially a professional pack opener like myself all righty so i can switch to the appropriate camera view here and show everything so let me give it a quick count on the entire booster box one two three four five five rare reverse hollow and then one two three four five six seven rare hollow so I believe I did pull out quite a few rare hollow and ultra rares and secret rares combined. But here's a look at the reverse hollow rares and rare hollows. So Sandaconda, Rhyperior, Frostmoth, probably the best pull in reverse hollow form. Drampa, Boltund. So those were the five rare hollows and then the six, rather the five rare reverse hollows, the six rare hollows, Gengar. Marnie very happy with this pull, Boltund, Sandaconda, Cinderace, Professor's Research, so it actually looks like seven rare hollows, my mistake, Professor's Research, one of the best pulls of the box, and then a Frostmoth, so just to verify, it looks like five rare reverse hollows and then seven rare hollows, and then as far as the ultra rares and secret rares go, was able to pull out four V cards. So Victini, Cramorant, which is decent with its beat catch attack, Snorlax, a good start to the Snorlax V Max, and then more Peko. Two V cards. 
to the full art cards rather. Lapras, cool looking card, and then Cramorant. I like the diagonal lines. If you can see that, you can see it a little bit on camera. And then easily the best pull of the entire box, the Snorlax VMAX. So if my memory serves me correctly, looks like five rare reverse hollow, seven rare hollow, four V cards, two V full arts, and then a VMAX rainbow rare. I can spend some time now and get them laid out on the play mat. I really should use the champion play mat that I won, Mewtwo and Mew on it. I beat Papa Blastoise in a League Cup and took home first place. Let's switch back to the face cam and then I'll get these cards organized in front of me, give you a good view of the box, maybe chat with my viewers a little bit. It is 820 right now. I have to get up for work and head in at five o'clock tomorrow. I get up and six o'clock I go into work. Good news for my wife. I think it will be switching back to 7 o'clock oh, pretty soon. Finally. I hate that. I wake up before my wife. She doesn't like that very well. I was going to stay awake. Yes. So there's a look here. It's awful. This is normally what I do in my pre-recorded videos as well. Just spend some time organizing the cards on the play mat, and then I just cut out the other part. And I don't know what you guys think of my new style of videos where I do keep the pack openings and card tricks all in the video so now if I go to the let's see scroll up to the beginning there it is and boy that's not a very good Ooh. view I don't know if I can change this on the fly a lot of reflection on that just go like that put your hand put over my it. hand over it for the I might be able to let's see if I can configure the video live here so exposure there we go. That's a little bit better, right? I believe so. And yeah, that's not bad. So a lot better there. There is a look at the entire pulls from the booster box. Not bad. Like I said, that Snorlax VMAX really made the booster box and did pull some competitive cards as well, like a Quick Ball, for example. That wasn't bad. That one was on Tuttle that he pulled that, but very happy with the Marnie and the professor's research. So now I'll head on over to the live chat and just interact with my viewers. I'll take a look first, I think, at the price guide. Just scroll through there and see what prices are and if I pulled anything too expensive out, but I don't think so. Like I said, would love to pull the Zashian V. That is a $65 card. Pulled out the Snorlax V Max the Secret Rare. That's a $20 card. Anything else other than that? Not much for value. And between Rebel Clash and Sword and Shield, neither set really has any super valuable cards. Sword and Shield, of course, has the most expensive one in the Zashian V. But again, here's a look at the prices. Some of those V cards that I pulled out. $2, but like Marnie, for example, $2 for the Rare Hollow, Professor's Research, $1.69, so some of those are better, more Frost Moth there, $0.87, cents. didn't pull out an Oranguru, that card has a good ability on it, but there's a look at some of the prices right now, Quick Balls trading, or you can buy it for about $0.41, cents. so not bad there, I'm still on hunt for that gold colored Zashian V, I'll head over to the live chat a little bit and thanks to my wife Carla for moderating this live stream as well as Pedro and Justin, Sentai Fan and then Papa Blastoise respectively and I can just look through the chat there and thank you to my wife for joining. Getting her more and more into the competitive scene hopefully she'll be joining me at the Dork Den whenever it opens up that is for sure and I'll just look through here I know the viewers are going down a little bit towards the end of the video, but thank you everyone for watching this live stream opening. I do plan on doing a Darkness Ablaze booster box live stream, of course, when that is released. And then I do have a Cosmic Eclipse booster box. Let's see, I'm reading through the live chat here. Silver Salamence 10, never thought they'd see the day. A Professor Oak Junipor Sycamore, Sycamore effect would be hollow, to be fair. And very happy to see that. But there is a Professor Sycamore full art out there. That is pretty cool. Do like the rare holo cards in this set. The Hallfoil pattern really looks good. 
and Ma Maz Max, hello, thank you for watching. Been watching for nine years, wow. Looks like JDHD really liking the live streams. And that's something I wanted to bring up too. It is a little bit late, but I was looking at laptops potentially for doing more streaming and doing potentially on the go live streams, maybe go to a public event. And I was looking at the Asus Rogue Strix. I believe it's the third one. I believe it's something like $14.99. And it has the 2070, the what is it, the RTX? I believe so, RTX 2070, which is the same graphics card as my gaming PC. So definitely thinking about getting that laptop. If there's any laptops you would like me to look at out there, let me know. And right now I'm still using my old laptop for these streams just because it's easier to move around. It is more mobile and I ran the CPU, the benchmark on it, it was, it was okay, but definitely not something that I really want to stream on that much. And Sentai Fan 45 there, he definitely misses battling at the Dork Sorry. Den. What's happening? You're getting tired over here? Yeah. yeah. You had to get up early for work? For two days. And yes. Then I have to work again. Tiring. So it looks like Flame Star 320, Power of the People. I've been watching, viewing your videos since 2014. You're on Polyon Love Lex, and it's the first video I watched. What did he just say? Are you messaging Justin there? No, something to make me smile. Oh. <laughs> Best comeback out of retirement since Jordan. Thank you to, looks like, I don't know what language that is, but EFF would be the first name. And I am a big Michael Jordan fan. I actually have a Michael Jordan autograph. Met him in person at a celebrity golf tournament. So thank you very much for that compliment. What's that mean? Best comeback out of retirement since Michael Jordan? No. He said I can sense her. Oh, I don't know. I can sense her being tired? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. What's your favorite Fates Collide Pokemon card? I like Alakazam in that set. Is that the one that has Lugia in it as well? I think so. I could look it up right now, but I'll hold off and have to reach across my wife, that's for sure. What's this Jim's leg thing with Carla? <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. Whoever Karen is, that'd be a terrible name for this year. She's, they're getting bashed a lot. Karen's out there. And Maz Max, primetime Pokemon. You're such an inspiration. I hope you know how many people you inspire. Such a huge <laughs> fan, so thank you. What were you doing at a celebrity golf tournament? I wasn't a celebrity. This was back 10 plus years ago, and my dad still to this day, as well as one of my brothers, but we collect sports autographs, and we went to that tournament to get lots of autographs. Actually, Scottie Pippen was at that tournament as well as Michael Jordan. Um, Kirby Puckett back in the day before he passed, he was there. A lot of Minnesota athletes, but then athletes from all over the United States as well. Michael Jordan was there because the golf tournament was hosted by Trent Tucker, who lives in Minnesota right now and was a teammate of Michael Jordan. So he was a big draw there. And at one time... I believe whoever the lead singer for Hootie and the Blowfish, I can't remember his name. If I saw it, I'd know it, but he's been there before. But, yes, I've had a lot of experience getting autographs from professionals. So it looks like Tumtato, late to the stream, but potato. they made it. Thanks, Potato. Looks like it's Tumtato. So if you <laughs> missed out on this live stream or you're just joining now, did okay. I can quick switch for Tumtato with the $20 donation. Thank you very much. I can show the polls that I got again. So let's go to the beginning if the camera holds out a little bit. So this card up here, the top left, would be the Snorlax VMAX, the Rainbow Rare. And then pulled out two V Full Arts in Cramorant and Lapras. But the Rare Hollow cards are where it was at for me. I did pull out one copy of Marnie, one copy of Professor's Research, and then a Frost Moth, and then also pulled out a Frost Moth in reverse hollow form so some of the competitive cards there that was good are you checking yourself out on the camera and my wife did join me for most of the video can you shout out Karis Mole please whoever that is how's it going Carla that's what some Jew Park wants to know it's doing way being she's very good I need to do some basketball videos, and that's something that My eyes just draining. That some people ask me quite a bit is 
am I going to branch out and do non-Pokemon videos? But I think I'd start a new channel before doing that. I met, yes, Darius Rucker is the lead singer for Hootie and the Bull Blowfish. That is right. I've had his autograph before. I think I got it on an index card way back in the day. Thank you, Papa Blast, for that. And Papa Blastoise, I did add a couple of new moderators on here for the live chat. Papa Blastoise and SentaiFan45. What Pokemon would you most want as a pet? I would love Charizard, my favorite Pokemon. Tuttle. Um, Tuttle's a Pokemon. What Pokemon would you want for a pet? You know enough Pokemon out there. Mm. You have to think about it. Yeah. I don't want Charizard. I know Charizard would probably treat me like he treats Ash and just not behave at all. Yeah. But a fi fire-breathing dragon almost that can fly, I'll take Charizard any day. But Ditto probably would be pretty good. It can transform into anything. Ponyta. Ponyta? Yep. Because you want to ride a horse or what? No. Just Ponyta. Justin will understand. Just Ponyta? Oh. Yeah, but you want Galarian Ponyta with the horn, right? Yeah. Yeah, Galarian Ponyta. <laughs> Ponyta? Ponyta, yeah. Ponyta? Yeah. What, 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 what? How about your favorite Phantom Forces card? I believe the Silver Dialga, the full art there. <laughs> Favorite set ever would be Legendary Collection. It is a great reprint set. Plus, it is the first set to include Reverse Hollow cards. Those Reverse Hollows look very cool. I do have a Charizard in my collection. Have opened up a Legendary Collection <laughs> booster box on my channel as well. So that is my favorite set. Looks like Maz Max likes Primal Clash. And I opened up a lot of Primal Clash. When that set was new, my brother actually went to target and found the collector's albums that were released way early target released that set over a month early so i bought as many of those collector's albums as possible went to about every target from the twin cities southward in minnesota and tried to find as many of those primal clash packs as possible I had pretty good luck in that set with the full art trainers so prime time pony yeah that would be my name according to papa blastoise I don't know where Tuttle went. Oh, he might be in here. I heard him meow. Tell you. Or was I hearing things? You're probably hearing things. Tell Call back to the B-Day stream. That is correct. If you missed out, I had a nice horn on my head in the B-Day stream. Uh, I essentially was Galarian Ponyta. I'm a big fan of the unicorn look. Tell so Maz Max, thanks for joining. They have to leave the live stream now. 154 viewers there. It was a great stream on the birthday live stream, and thanks for showing support for my wife in these videos. Definitely a big part of my life, and she does enjoy interacting with me on the live stream, and I think there was some negativity towards her earlier in this chat, and I, there's really no place for it on YouTube in general. No reason to bully anybody or anything like that, and that's why there's moderators on here, is that's really not going to be tolerated, so... Just for future, just be nice in the uh, live streams like that and you'll get along great with me and just have a lot more fun in these videos. If you're not a fan of my videos or anything like that, there's plenty of places out there you can go and interact with other YouTubers. So I'll chat through a little bit more. Tuttle's back. He looks tired. I haven't fed him yet, so he might be a little bit tired. Um, what was your favorite... Detective Pikachu card. Um, boy, it's been a while since that happened. Now, Detective Pikachu, I really liked the Black Star promos, the GX cards, Charizard, of course, and Tuttle's back in here. Uh oh, is he um, going to play? Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's not have him take out anything. He's a big boy. He's only a year old, and he weighed eleven point two pounds today. Woof. That's what we like to say. <laughs> for a for a cat um he's very active though goes up and down the steps every single day multiple times but he is a very good cat that is for sure never was a cat fan but tuttle stole my heart and of course my wife wanted a cat so she's very important to me now he will bite if i hold my hand out there he'll chomp right at it but he's not really trying to hurt anybody like that so it looks like Sentai Fan 45. What Pokemon do you love? Oh, let's see. Your dad, whoever that would be. Bro, you've been a big inspiration for me. Thank you so much. Good teamwork, Pedro, between Papa Blastoise and Sentai Fan. 
Now, Scott Kelly asked about a signed copy of my book, and for a while I was signing books here and sending them out to my viewers that wanted them, and I really don't have many copies left of my book. You can always purchase it on Amazon and send it to me, or you can always send me a, an energy card or something like that, but you can find a link to my book in the description of this video. If you don't know, I wrote a book. Where is it? It's directly behind me here. I scooted over a little bit, but Pokemon Cards, the unofficial ultimate collector's guide. He's not cooperating anymore. Nope, Tuttle's out of here. Strike three, he's gone. But I wrote that book. It is essentially oh. an encyclopedia for Pokemon card collecting. Yuck, you're... And you can actually see a preview on Amazon. Are you going to have to bring him out of here? Oh, boy. I don't need him taking down a light. There you go. Oh, boy. He doesn't know where it's at. You might have to help him out of here. So where would I send it? So if you want to know my address for fan mail or autograph requests or anything like that, email me ptpbiz at yahoo.com. Tuttle wants to fight. Papa Blastoise would be correct. <laughs> so thanks Juan Carlo Sardinia. Gotta go by now. So thank you for watching. His mouth stinks. Tuttle's mouth does? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it smells like fish all the time. So baby Tuttle, yes he is a year old. Still a baby to us, but I don't He's... know how old he would be in cat years. Um, I don't remember. Have I considered making another book for Pokemon cards? It's in my contract to write another one. I haven't been contacted by the publisher, but I would write another one if they did contact me. I think it'd make it a little bit more on the competitive side now just because I am more knowledgeable about that. So I think about five more minutes and I'll end this live stream. Again, thank you everyone for watching this Sword and Shield base set booster box live stream opening. Now, just a refresher. I am doing all of my videos, either premieres or live streams. When I do the premieres, those are pre-recorded videos and those are just like normal. So the only difference is, is that in the live chat for those premieres, I'll be in the live chat. It's not an actual live video. And then the live streams like this one, I'm actually physically recording the video as you're watching it on YouTube. So if you want me to react to a question or a comment, I can do that right now. So my favorite Plasma Storm card, Charizard for sure, the Secret Rare, I believe, or the gold colored one. My phone died. Oh, I was gonna say, what happened? My wife's phone died, so she'll have to look at the laptop off to the side as well. So He's Martin Jimenez, years. he has been a long time fan. Thank you very back, very much. And then the blanket's back. I was looking at that from the Xander Zone. Yes, my wife has her blanket on. It's probably cold down here in the basement. Does stay quite a bit cooler. Cool glasses, according to Chris Dev. Thank you. Usually she wears her contacts, but not for the this video. What intro do you want to hear, Sentai Fan 45? Hey, YouTube, this is part that Pokemon. No. I just got back from Walmart. Let's see what he says. <laughs> Type it out, Sentai Fan 45, and I'll say it. Maybe. We'll see. I might have to time you out as a moderator. Let's see here. What do you think of the old purple generation 2 shiny Charizard? I'm a huge fan of shiny, shiny Charizard. That's why the Charizard Gold Star from EX Dragon Frontiers is my favorite card of all time. And Charizard, of course, is my favorite Pokemon. Do I have a favorite basketball team? I'm a big Minnesota sports fan. So the Timberwolves, they've never been good. So I can type in here. Do you want to type my email in there? Move the little, do you know my business email? Yeah. ptpbiz at yahoo.com. T-P-B-I-Z. So she's typing in, bear with us. Just doing the hunt and peck method. So there's a look at my email if you want to send me any fan mail or have requests or anything like that. You can always message me on social media like Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or even TikTok. My wife is usually in charge of my TikTok. We haven't done one for a while. No. So I guess, can we get 1,000 subs with no vids? Wants to hear, hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. That is the intro and... That is it right there. So, hey, YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. That's what Pedro wants to hear, Sentai fan. Am I supposed to do it differently than that? I don't think so. 
He just wants to hear my favorite Pokemon song, probably the original series, so the first one. And then I think one for the Johto one is pretty catchy. I used to listen to YouTube videos where I'd have every single um, theme song from the TV shows just on loop. Oh, I was going to text. He's got to do the hand gestures, yes. Hey, YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. Enjoy going through a good chunk of emails, so maybe... And that is a good way to send me online TCG code cards as well. And it looks like PLX Maker. You like the Minnesota Wild. I'm not a huge hockey fan, but if they're in the playoffs, I'll watch. Unlike the Timberwolves, who aren't going to be in the playoffs for basketball. So I think... Bam! Sentai Fan 45. My wife might have to do the introduction sometime. She has done an introduction like that to a video a long time ago. That's more of an inside joke between the two of us. What? You've done an intro like, hey, YouTube, this is primetime Pokemon. No. <laughs> oh. You want me to never show up on your live streams ever again. You can keep it up. I will not keep it up then. Are you doing cards by mail again, Prime? Are you talking about bot cards by mail, Justin, or the... Free cards by mail, because of course you know how fan mail works. When I build some decks, I would love to buy some cards and do openings online. Maybe do a live stream, just open up several different packages. So it looks like Earth360, a suggestion for my videos. I need to show more expression and more emotion. And I sort of talked about that in the past. That's just not my style. Now if I get a very valuable card... I can get excited like when my wife pulled the Frost Moth Secret Rare in the Rebel Clash booster box opening live stream. I got pretty excited there. However, a lot of these cards, like just the regular V cards, sure they're tough to pull, but they're worth two or three dollars. They're not even worth the price of a booster back, so it's really not worth it to get that excited. So fan mail. If people would like me to open up fan mail, you can always send me your collections or anything you'd like me to open. Just message me for my address. You can find it by emailing me, primetimeptpbiz at yahoo.com. Everyone send primetime mail so you can do a big mail opening live stream. Definitely could do that, EJ Webbs. That is a good suggestion. Hey, thanks, Brad E., for the super sticker. $9.99 donation. That goes right back into my videos. And with that donation, that essentially allowed me to open up this booster box for free and that is a big reason I hung it up on YouTube in January is that Pokemon cards and just making videos every single day was getting too expensive so now I've just scaled back the number of videos I make and that is helping quite a bit but then I am asking for donations and that really does help and makes my videos that much better all of my studio here was from donations and that is beyond generous of my viewers papa blastoise who's also a moderator he is lending me two of his logitech webcams and which of course the good quality webcams are out of stock everywhere and have been for months and then sentai fan 45 another moderator in the live chat a good friend of mine pedro he donated actually gave to me his ogato what is it the hd 60s the capture card that i'm using through my Panasonic 4K camera and then because of you guys because of my the donations from viewers I was able to purchase three softbox lights I was able to purchase the desk that I'm using and then did purchase I'm hoping to use a little bit more of the gaming PC I built that so who knows I may stream video games in the future like I said your donations are so great and you guys are just so generous not only for watching my viewers not not only for watching my videos rather but just going above and beyond and helping me with my video. So I would like to thank you very much. So a lot of questions back here about are these boxes sealed or are they open? It's about half and half. I have a lot of hidden sealed, hidden fates sealed products in my collection. Not as much back here, but I have a lot that I invested in. I think that's going to be a good set to have sealed for the future. So do a lot of other people plus the reprint in the UK might drop prices a little bit. 
but most of these boxes back here are from the GameStop clearance sale. I opened about half of them and that was such a great sale. I could get packs there for 99 cents a piece. I've never had that happen before. So Boogie OCE for the $5 donation. Um, <laughs> hey, Prime, <laughs> hey Prime, do you have a, do you have a legendary collection? Can we see it in a video? I do have legendary collection Pokemon cards. I opened up at least one booster box and I have done some collection videos showing it. I have not done anything in quite some time with legendary collection and those cards are so valuable, especially these sealed products. So that is, it's going to be tough for me to open up vintage packs. The, the, the tough thing for me is that I've been on YouTube since 2008 and with all those new sets, Stormfront was new in 2008. From 2008 until no, now, I've opened up every single set as soon as it was released. Now, vintage packs, Stormfront is vintage. To me, it doesn't make sense just paying a ton of money for those vintage packs when I opened up everything new back then. Of course, my videos are better than ever. I hope so, at least, with the quality and then the setup. So I would love to eventually get back into opening up vintage packs. Would like to find a mystery power box or so, or two that have a better chance at pulling a Stormfront pack, for example. But for the most part, those sealed products are not worth opening if you get them, just because these sealed products in the future are worth a lot more than the individual cards. So a few more minutes here. Who's holding back on me? Probably. Yeah. Oh boy, so another donation though. So Papa Blastoise, my moderator, is pointing that out. And like I said, thank you to Boogie again for the donation. I like those super stickers. I know my wife is probably a fan with that um, little animation there flying through the air. Looks like Texas Ace 9. I've been here since 2010. So thank you very much. Roaring Skies, my favorite card there, Shaman EX. And that was before I really got into the competitive scene. But I believe, and Justin would know best for Shaman EX, is that setup for its ability that allows you to draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. I believe that is the case. And then with Scoop Up Net from Rebel Clash, you can just use that ability over and over again. So that is a pretty good combination for Expanded. Yes, Lax God, he's like, maybe I'll open more later in his first video. And thousands of videos later, I'd say I've opened up a few more packs. And my dad collects sports cars now, and he opens up packs. And I've had a lot more experience than him just opening up thousands and thousands of packs on my channel. So, yep, Papa Blastoise 6. So that must be what he's talking about, Shaman EX. And Shaman EX made the cover of my book just because I wanted to include some of the more valuable cars at the time. So, of course, Charizard Gold Star, Charizard from Base Set, Shaman EX. What else did I include on there? Luxray GL Level X, that type of a thing. Your favorite Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion Pokemon card? I started collecting, when, or started the competitive scene when Crimson Invasion was new. There was nothing in that set competitive wise except for what Pokemon was it in Crimson Invasion? I'm drawing a blank here. What was the very powerful Crimson Invasion was GX? That was my wife typing in the chat. You're going to have to go down a little bit farther. So Texas Ace 9. Yes, my dad collects everything. At this point in time, he's more of a sports, he's an autograph collector, but he's mainly a collector of football, then basketball, and then baseball. Do I play any of the Pokemon games? And I owned all of the Pokemon games from red, blue, and yellow up to, I believe, black and white, but those were all stolen from me, unfortunately, from my storage unit. I do have Pokemon Shield, have not played it much, so... Should get into that. And like I said, I bought that gaming PC, top of the line PC, built that myself. So that's sort of an accomplishment in itself. But I bought that with the intent of streaming. So I may have to do that. My wife's a big Fortnite player and she's on the computer all the time. Not lately. Not lately, but you have been. And that's what she enjoys very, very much. 
Oh yes, Buzzwall GX. That would be it. Thank you, Justin. So you've helped me twice there, shaming EX. And then, yeah, so Buzzwall GX with the strong energy. So in my wife's words, the brown energy, strong energy. And then what else is out there? Diancy EX was in there or was it Diancy Prism Star? It's been a while. That's what, two years ago that deck was really good, but Buzzwall GX, that would be the best card in Crimson Invasion. So the girl at GameStop told Lax God that Sword was better, and usually I'm all about the attacking Pokemon, so I should have went with Sword. I think I looked at the exclusive Pokemon for each game between Sword and Shield and went with Shield. Um, my most favorite Pokemon would be Charizard. I hope someone's lighting off some fireworks outside or Tuttle's jumping around. Probably Tuttle, and thanks again, Blastoise, Papa Blastoise. Blastoise? Yes, Blastoise. Just Blastoise. Um, when did I start collecting? 1999. And there are quite a few viewers still on here. It's getting late. My wife's yawning. She needs to get to bed. Um, when and how did I start collecting? 1999. Base set was released in June, I think, for the unlimited print. Maybe not. It might have been January. There's another donation from Boogie OCE. Thank you for the donation. No dab? Oh. Love your videos, Prime Time. But 1999. Now, Papa Blastoise has some good information about when he was younger and he collected base set. But for my 11th birthday, 1999, my aunt bought me the Overgrowth theme deck with Gyarados. Ever since then, I have been a collector of Pokemon cards. Now, I vividly remember going to stores, hobby and retail stores, and seeing these sets new in store, base set, fossil. I can really remember the Gym Challenge and Gym Hero sets, and then even the Neo series of sets. I also remember the Legendary Collection, one of the theme decks had, I believe, Charizard as a hollow in it. I can remember going to stores. If only I could have afforded those things at that time and not open those. That's my problem now is whatever I purchase, I end up opening. And Papa Blastoise, he's old. I'm old too. I'm ancient if some of the packs that were new when I was first on YouTube are considered vintage. That is for sure. Time flies. My wife's just sleeping off to the side here. Chris Dev says, go sleep. Primetime Pokemon's wife. So she has had quite a few days of working and I am a big fan of Jungle and Fossil. Love the holofoil pattern on those cards. Yes, Jungle, and I do like the fact that those sets were so small. At the same time, they made those sets a little bit larger because they made Rare Hollows the same as the Rare non hollows two different versions. Love Ditto from Fossil, probably Snorlax from Jungle. Those are my two favorite cards. Really like the Eevee Evolutions in Jungle as well. So thank you, Erica, for watching this live stream. Looks like she's headed out. It was nice watching. So Legendary had a hollow, but a non-hollow promo as well. EJ Webs looks like I've collected since they were born. Do you have wanna do you wanna have a Charizard Hyper Rare GX PSA 10? Of course. I really don't have that many PSA graded cards in my collection. I sent in all of the hollow cards I pulled from the base of booster box that I opened up, plus the first edition fossil and team rocket. So those are all the graded cards that I have. That is a very good investment trying to get PSA 10 or BGS, Beckett, graded 10 cards. Which Galar Pokemon is your favorite? I like Sashian. My wife thinks I'd fit well with Galarian Ponyta with my birthday hat. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Katrina, for watching from Canada. I know my wife definitely enjoys getting in on the live stream. It wiped her out opening up two packs. Really exhausted her. That is for sure. Do you still have the Gyarados from your Overgrowth theme deck? Yes, I do. I actually had the theme deck box in my bedroom at my parents' house as well. So I actually have all of the theme decks down there. So I think this will end it. Let's go two more minutes. Two minute warning. If you want to get any questions in. Otherwise, I thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for watching Lax God from Minneapolis. I don't know if you're in the city of Minneapolis where there's been a lot of violence recently or if you're in the suburbs.
My wife and I go to Minneapolis all the time, or we used to before the whole pandemic. I used to live in the Twin Cities as well. Thank you, Johnny B. You're a legend. But thank you, everyone, for watching this Sword and Shield live stream. Biggest fish you ever caught? Not very big. I guess most recently I caught a catfish in a lake here. It was about, what, a pound and a half, which isn't very big. But I've never really went fishing outside of the lakes here in town, so that's just pan fish. No kids for us at all. We're trying for a child, but now our only child would be the wild tuttle that you'll see in the videos and he beat me competitive wise in a pack battle in this video i am excited for champion's path good question katrina excited for the elite trainer box that includes the charizard v full art and that is the special expansion i believe that set will be starting to be released in progs late september sort of a Trainer's Path in the Gala region with the different trainers. I believe there's several pin collection boxes. I know there's a Marnie collection box as well. So Lax God, Suburbs because of school. So maybe they're going to college. I'm not sure. So how old are you guys? I'm 32 years old, so I am old. My wife's five years younger than I am. Greetings from Maryland. Drazy888, you're a legend. Keep being awesome. I've caught a Kyogre in the lake. Wow. I don't even know how a Kyogre could fit in the lake. We went to Duluth, what, last weekend to Lake Superior. That's a large lake. Will we get the Rainbow VMAX Zard? And that is a question on Polka Beach. Um, he was pondering that as well. I don't think the exact set list is out there yet. He doesn't think so. I don't think so either. I did look at that card. I don't think it's necessarily competitive, so it would mainly be as a collector. I could see maybe doing another promo for the Rainbow Rare VMAX and put it in a $100 box or something like that. That would make more sense or just make them so tough to pull. I wish that's something that the Pokemon Company International would do with some of their Ultra Rares and Secret Rares is really limit the pulls for those so let's say Snorlax VMAX for example that's probably the best VMAX in this set Sword and Shield base set make that even harder to find that would make the price go that much higher my favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Crystal let's go until nine o'clock my wife is really getting tired here thanks for the great live she looks at me every single time you guys can and can know the fact that I really do enjoy these live streams Greetings from NYC, and I don't know about in New York City, but in the state of Minnesota, the mask mandate just started this past Saturday. I have to head into work tomorrow wearing a mask all day long. I don't know how that works for Justin at his own retail store, but I have to wear a mask all day. My wife's a nurse, and she's been wearing a mask and a face shield for months. Boy, oh boy, Papa Blastoid doesn't think that Charizard V Max Rainbow Rare will be in this set, Champion's Path. I don't know. I don't know if it's even going to be in any English set. There's been some trophy cards that have not been in English sets any time, but who knows? Yes, Papa Blastoise, she is tapping out my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, when was the last time I balled? Your homie Tony wants to know about basketball, and they do call me primetime. Because I showed up. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I saw a Sentai Fan 45 over there. One more hour. You, no more, com no comments about masks from Papa Blastoise. Hopefully that won't affect his business much. But yes, it's not going to be a good time wearing masks all the time. Especially if you work in the heat. But um, last time I played basketball, it's been a while. I've shot some hoops and played some horse or something. Now and again, the last time I actually played a game, a long time. There was a park near where I lived, about a block from my house. I would go there every single day in the summer and play 21 every single day for hours on end. My brother and I would go over there and then some friends from the area, they would call me prime time because I was that good. It was actually a good laugh. Um, after high school, I played varsity basketball, was a bench warmer for the most part, 5'8", 
not very tall, so that answers that question. But I was pretty good just on pickup games and whatnot when, when I was given a chance. And summer after high school, I was working at a factory here in town, and a guy I used to play with, he asked me where I was going to college. He thought I was playing Division One basketball somewhere because that's how good he thought I was. And I told him I couldn't even walk on to a Division Three, but it's just I played a lot and I was a tryhard for the most part, really when it comes to anything in basketball, pickup games like that. That's why sweat. they call me primetime. Yes, I'm a sweat, as my wife would like to put it. So it is 9 o'clock, so I think I am going to end this live stream Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this live stream on a Sunday night here in Minnesota. Who knows what time worldwide, but thank you for tuning in. Thank you to my wife Carla for opening up a couple of packs as well as moderating the chat and joining me in the live stream. And thanks to two new moderators and friends of mine, Justin Papa Blastoise and Pedro Sentai Fan 45 for moderating this chat. Even though Justin showed up a little bit late, I'm glad he could make the live stream. Thank you everyone for watching, especially those who have donated via the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. As always, before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications. And let your friends know too, if they're interested in Pokemon cards, tell them about my channel and let them subscribe. New videos multiple times per week. Should be doing another collection video coming up, a collection box video, not an actual collection video, and then some TCG online videos as well. Next weekend, I'm hoping to do a live stream. Do you work next weekend? Think about it. No. She doesn't work, so I might be able to do the live stream a little bit earlier. Might not work for Papa Blastoise. And uh, maybe she'll just help out some of my worldwide viewers. But thanks again, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. And thanks, everyone, for watching once again. And stay tuned for, for more videos. videos. Thank, Thank you. you.